What is good, people? It is your boy, K4. Top shelf, you know. I love my beat down low, down low. And you're here with Cooking with Black Hercules today. I've been asked about how to make my uh, famous uh, grilled chicken surprise. That's what I'm going to call it. Who cares? That's what we're going with. My grilled chicken surprise. And I'm going to give you a walkthrough of uh, how I prepare my chicken for when I eat during the week. All right, first things first, man. I'll get my chicken. Obviously, you gotta wash the chicken first before you prepare it. I usually go to Costco, pick my chicken up. Uh, I get the Kirkland's. I don't know if you can see it from this far. I get the Kirkland Signature chicken breast, boneless, 100% boneless. Most of the fats usually cut off it. Put this under the tap. Pop it open. Then I'll just start laying the chicken out on the cutting board. What you're about to see in a minute. Give me a second. Gotta slice these bad boys up. Mm. Alright, let me move over to the cutting board so you can really get a good look at the chicken. Alright, we're now over here at the cutting board. And what I like to do before I prepare my chicken is I like to slice them up into nice tenderloins because the smaller the, the chicken is, the easier it is for me to cook. So uh, I lay out my chicken on the cutting board. Have my seasons ready to go. Your boy uses uh, some whole oregano. You can pick them up, you know, at any grocery store. I use a little bit of Laurie's uh, seasoned salt. Uh, a little bit of Jamaican curry to give it a little nice uh, hot flavor. Jamaican curry spice. Curry powder, I think is what it's called. Who cares? Fuck it. And uh, Mrs. Dash. You can't go wrong with Mrs. Dash. Mrs. Dash is the lady. All right. I got all my seasonings here. Like I said first, we're going to cut them up in tenderloins. Slice it up in half. Nice and easy. I'll put it to the side. Slice the, the other part up in half. And I just keep doing this to all my tenderloins, like I said. What I mean? All my chicken in order for them to become tenderloins. So you want to get it a nice thin size. <laughs> get it nice flopping around. And uh, yeah. You just do that to uh, all the chicken breasts you have before you put it in the pan and get ready for seasoning, which I'll show you in about another minute. Just let me uh, do the rest of this because I don't you know you don't want to watch all this. It's boring as hell. Now with that, we got our bacon sheet ready or pan, whatever you want to call it. It's time to lay down the foundation. Spread the chicken all out in even uh, distributed areas, <laughs> like your FedEx or something. Just just slap just just slap it on there, man. Just, just, mm. oh, oh, it almost slipped a little bit, but get it nice and uh, spaced out for when you uh, season it. You want to make sure the seasonings get all in between the chicken. All right. We got our chicken laid out. You listen to that. It's almost uh, ready to get primed up. Obviously, you have your oven preheated to 400 degrees or whatever. Uh... I start off, doesn't matter which order you start in, my oregano. Make it rain on them, make it rain on them. I spread it all around, I don't really uh, use a certain amount. I just spread enough till uh, the entire top's covered. That's enough of oregano. I use my lorries, like I said, my lorry seasoned salt. A little dab would do you, a little dab would do you. Spread a little bit of lorry salt on there. My seasoning salt. Bam! Uh, let's get the Jamaican curry powder. This as well, minimal amount. It's already a pretty uh, nice, it gives it a pretty nice taste, so I don't want to use too much. Get that Jamaican powder all up in there. And last but not least, Mrs. Dash! Mrs. Dash! Spray that Mrs. Dash all over it. This, this has no sodium, so I'll make it rain as much as I want, man. I don't have to, so I keep going for days. Just, just make it rain on it. All right, then I just you know, finger bang it a little bit, get all the seasonings in there, play around with the chicken, toss it around, get every corner, every crevice. I want to fully marinate my chicken before it hits the oven, of course. So I'll just smack it around, doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to look pretty. I'm not Martha Stewart or anything, I don't really care. Just making love to the chicken. <laughs> Spread it back out. Now you're just about ready to throw it in the oven for about half an hour to 40 minutes. 
and we're gonna see the final product when it's done. Stay tuned. <laughs> Always remember to pop in on that chicken. See how it's doing, check it out. Oh, it's a little fog. Let's, let's zoom in here, let's zoom in, let's zoom in. Oh, look at those juices. Oh, it's, it's almost ready. It's getting juicy! <laughs> and there you have it. The legendary Black Hercules Grilled Chicken Surprise! Let's get a quick zoom in. You can still see the steam rolling off this bitch. Mmm. I'm not sure why I keep calling it a Grilled Chicken Surprise. It's actually baked, but... Grilled Chicken just sounds better, you know what I mean? But yeah, man, that's how I make my chicken. If you happen to like this video, be sure to comment, rate, subscribe. Black Hercules is out.